The quarter windows in my 66 charger were not rolling up and down properly, and their cat whiskers needed replacing, so I searched the web for information about removing, repairing, and reinstalling the window glass and regulators. I found this helpful guide to quarter windows installation 6667 chargers on the B-Bodies only forum. It's full of useful tips and annotated photos. Link in the description. The 6667 Dodge Charger Source Guide site provides a rare cutaway view of the regulator, both with the window rolled down and rolled up. These are great reference photos for understanding how all the parts fit together. I didn't find any YouTube videos for the first generation charger quarter windows, but I did find this video on a 68 Roadrunner that was still very helpful. Most importantly, I learned that the largest components can pass in and out of the body through the opening at the top of the door jamb. Armed with this knowledge, I removed all of the quarter window components and found I had some broken rollers. I ordered a new roller and hardware set from Classic Industries. I also bought a new pair of flocked rubber strips for the leading edges of the quarter windows since mine were worn out. Meanwhile, I thoroughly cleaned the rest of the parts in preparation for reassembly. This is the driver's side quarter glass from the 66 Charger. And I thought I'd show you how the regulator and the tracks all go together outside of the car before I put it in there. It's a little easier to tell how everything works. So let's start over here. This is the, the rear up and down vertical track. The curved end goes down and it's going to be paired up with this slot using this special guy here with a ball socket end on it along with one of the white wheels and it'll get clipped on. Quick tip, assemble these two rollers and clip outside of the car before installing them on the window frame and vertical track. Otherwise, locking that clip in place can be difficult. And how that all goes together is this wheel slides into that slot. It's kind of a snug fit. Of course, that clip will be on that back side. This wheel slides in here and you can't get it mixed up because this one this one fits in the track that one doesn't fit in this track and then that shaft sits down in there so that takes care of that track then we got this longer one this dog leg goes down at the bottom that's the top end and it supports these two carriers I end up sitting in these slots here now, a quick note on these carriers. They have a swivel joint, which should move easily if you want your window to track nicely up and down. And there are two small wheels on the back side, whichever side this is, and they're spring-loaded with this spring that creates tension to keep them gripping on the, uh, on the rail. Now, in actuality, only one of these holes one of these wheels has a hole that's a slot that allows it to move back and forth. The other one just has a single little hole, so it doesn't move. I don't know why they did it that way, but anyhow, I lubed these up, got them nice and clean. I didn't replace these wheels. Uh, it, I didn't have a decent puller to take them off, for one thing, but they're also in good serviceable shape, so I figured I'm just going to reuse them. These two carriers, and apparently it doesn't matter which way the spring goes, you know, up or down. Correction, I later realized that the upper carrier spring should point down and the lower carrier spring should point up so that they clear the window frame and body respectively. Um, these two carriers are going to sit in that slot, on that slot, and then the track gets down through. So, and then these are the two mount points to the body. Okay, so that's that's the two vertical rails. And then you got the regulator, and it sits basically like this in the car. 
this wheel up here rides in this track. And this mounts to the body, same surface as these guys mount. This guy has to sit in that hole. So it gets sandwiched, or I should say these, these two little half wheels sandwich the window frame. And then there's a clip again that holds that together. That one we're going to do in the car because it's basically impossible to do outside the car and then get the glass and the regulator in at once. I could be wrong about that though, because in Chris's video, his window frame and regulator are already connected at this joint when he installs them together. But this would require setting the glass after the window frame is installed in the car, and I've never personally tried that. Then, this black wheel, which originally from the factory was a blue wheel, but the kit, for whatever reason, does it in black. This black wheel sits here. Even though the original blue roller had a clip locking it in place, my new rebuild kit didn't include this clip. It isn't actually required because there's no way the regulator shaft can back out of the roller once everything's bolted together. So, it's a little hard to picture that once the basic setup, now we'll try it in the car. Okay, so, so you got this big old crack here, and then these rectangular holes. Step one, in my opinion, before you start this, is to stuff something down in this crack to catch any hardware that you accidentally drop during this process, because I did it on the, on the passenger side. I dropped a couple of these little wheels down in there. Literally this wheel I dropped down in there. I was able to fish it out. I had to use my endoscopic camera in order to see down in there. Funny bent pliers and anyway, this will be a lot better. Yeah, so there, that should keep things from falling down the crack and those two rectangular holes are pretty well blocked off. Now, as you can see, I took off the window whiskers. Of course, this piece of trim here, little rubber boot that sits here. Unfortunately, I forgot to remove the rear stopper. That's better. I'm fast forwarding through this first installation because I ended up having to remove everything again and start over. In a moment, you'll see why. Thinking I was in the home stretch, I installed the outer cat whiskers. That ain't right. It was then that I realized that the glass needed to be reset in its frame. The vertical trim would not sit properly because the glass had shifted upward a bit in its bottom groove. I really don't like this. How did it get like that? I have to take this guy all the way out. So I uninstalled everything again, watched a few YouTube videos on how to reset glass, and then I did it. That process is documented in a separate video, linked above. So this tab here, which butts up against the stopper, has to clear in through this largest opening here. And then of course we're gonna have a little bit of trouble with this guy back there, but you'll see. It's worth noting here that I left the outer cat whisker strip in place and was still able to work around it. First things first. Drop them down in.
careful of the window whiskers. And next comes this guy. And this is the fattest part on the regulator, so it has to go in first. This side with the three holes is towards you. Through the big opening right here. I'm going to try to show you how this clip goes on to that stud. You see there's a groove around there. This guy can go on to the window frame. So I'm reaching up in there, finding that slot, and I'm just feeding the roller into the slot. Alright, so now that that guy's there, we can feed this track onto the roller. I should have explained this earlier, but the vertical tracks have adjustable posts that control the distance between the track and the body panel. This rear track came from a later model B body, but the principle is the same. These adjustable ferrules are threaded onto studs that are welded to the track. The outer threads of the ferrules fit through holes in the body panel. In this example, you can see that the lower ferrule is screwed in all the way, which would bring the bottom of the track closer to the body panel. The upper ferrule is unscrewed a little bit, which would move the top of the track away from the body panel. The tip of each ferrule is hex-shaped, which allows you to adjust it using a 7 16 wrench. After proper adjustment, each ferrule is secured with a flat washer and a hex nut. You'll find two of these adjustable posts on each rear vertical track and one adjustable post at the top of each front vertical track. I see the car, I gotta tighten this guy down a little bit, get it out of the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna slide this guy on. The curvy end goes to the bottom. If you bring the track up too far, the wheel, the roller will just drop off the bottom end of the track. It's the purpose. You gotta bring the window along with it, kind of. Slide the roller along the window frame as needed. It gives you a little bit of play. thing is to put on these two little white pieces that go on that just that single hole not a slot all right so there, there you can see I'm moving the regulator back and forth it has a shaft that fits in that hole so one goes on to the stud and this is on the regulator arm of course you got the regulator and the glass to be parallel, not like one at a weird angle, because then these guys aren't going to line up and you won't be able to get your little clip on. Put the 
this other half on. Okay. And the clip. Now, I've tried different techniques for getting this clip on. Sometimes it'll fight you like crazy, sometimes it goes on real easy. Uh, again, making sure this stuff's all aligned correctly makes a big difference. And one trick I've used is a three inch clamp, no, oh, two inch clamp, sorry. Two inch clamp, and believe it or not, you can go in this way. There's enough depth that you can get up in there with this clamp. And then if you take, say, one of these nuts, it's just about the right size for that clip, and the uh, clamp will sit on there, won't go through the nut hole, so I've played around with using this technique, it worked on the other side, doesn't always work, but I'm going to give it a shot. This is the toughest part of the job. Believe it or not, just this one little clip can be real pain. Everything has to be lined up just right for it to clip in all four of those little tabs. So, I'm checking that side looks good. That side also looks good. I got lucky getting it straight. And you can overdo it on tightening these clips. You can, if you're a little too aggressive, you can uh, actually overextend them and then they just fall off. So take your time, be patient. the clip kind of flexing as I move the regulator back and forth against the glass. Wiggle this stuff around because it might just angle, a change of angle, it might be all you need to just get that last little clippy to pop in. Now, so did you hear that? Those clicks? That might have been all we needed. I'm going to back off and see if the clip stays on. Yep. Yep. I did it. It's on. Eyeball check. Looks good. We've got to get this black guy on there. And he goes on this dude. Easy enough. Slide the, the black roller down into the slot. Line up the stud. Bob's your rump. All right. Next, we need these goofy little guys. Now, what you got to do here? It's kind of helped to get the regulator out of the way. I may end up actually putting a bolt in or two in here just to hold it up. But for now, let's leave it like that. I'm going to put the spring down on this one for sure. I think it clears the frame better, the actual window frame. And this one, I got to spring up, clear the body. Okay, those, oops, that's not right. Be careful because it's, you can, Actually, put the whole wheel through instead of half the wheel. Yeah, that's half the wheel. It's on track. Half on the back, half on the front. And we might be getting to the point where I got to put a bolt in here. regulator close to the body so that we can feed this track down in. A little dog leg guy goes at the bottom. 
these ends at the top. And again, we got a big hole over here for fat stuff. Slide it down between the glass and the regulator. Find your first carrier. Feed the rack trap through the two little wheels on the carrier. And then push down on the track until you meet, meet up with the, the bottom carrier. There we go. Alright. This guy's look pretty good. And then, let's see if you can get this track to pop through up here. I should have mentioned I backed this one all the way down because you need a little clearance while we're doing this work, but we're going to adjust this one back out. Loosely apply the nut. This nut. It's going to sit here, and then it goes between this track and the sheet metal. So you might need to monkey around with this trap a little bit to give yourself the space you need. But just find the top, the you know, far end of the regulator, and it's got that little wheel on the end. There. Yeah, he's sitting right up in the right location. I usually have to do this blind. Just feel around. It just slid onto the wheel. on the regulator. It's really close to being in the right spot. see where the bolts were from the factory based on you know the paint has been rubbed off by the washer so I just try to get them back to where they were from the factory and then adjust from there and it can take a little wiggling around as you might expect so like that's right about, right about where the regulator was tape now. I don't think I'll be dropping any more hardware down in there. Okay. This guy I think has to come out somewhere. And all these fasteners are 7 16 I mean, obviously not these big nuts, but 
the little nuts and uh, these adjusting shafts or collars, whatever you want to call them. The other side, I suppose. guy all the way, max this guy out to get the window to lean away a little bit. That's a lot like what the other side did. It meets the rubber and then kind of moves out. I think that's intentional so you get a good seal. And checking my whiskers here. Adjust this guy out. So I'm gonna leave it on there now. I'll try adjusting this guy out a bit more. Push the glass towards the uh, window whiskers a bit. button things up I want to lube up some of these parts. Still gotta put our stoppers in but let's just do this while while I'm thinking about it. Go grease. Here's the stopper that goes back here. It catches a tab on the, the back end of the window frame. It keeps the window from going up too high. So this little nubber has to stick through that slot. And you see it, it's right up close to the glass, so that's why it's really helpful to take this out before you try to do the glass, even take the glass out much less put it back in. That guy gets in the way. There's about an eighth inch between it and the glass right now. So it clears. Oh, 
carpet. And then <clears throat> there's another stopper. This guy. Um, and it catches a tab on the frame as well. That tab back there, I don't know if you can see it going up and down. Causing me some clearance issues. I'm tempted to grind that bit down. Well, it's bumping against the window frame. Okay, so right now it's loose. Put the window all the way up. Okay. So I'm lining up the stopper right up against that, that flange, that lip, tab, whatever the right word is. Now let's see though, if I can go down and clear that. Nope. It's too wide. I am going to go and cut off that extra metal. Okay, so I went ahead and ground down about an eighth of an inch in order to clear that window frame. So I push the rubber back on. This is a new piece of rubber I bought. Put the bolts back in loosely. This guy on over here. Um, it has four bolts, I mean screws, four little screws that hold it on. I'm gonna give that a quick wipe down now. It's not quite as clean as I would like. to make sure that the nut and bolt setup that I put on that window frame is going to clear through that little rubber um, grommet. strip and it's a it's just a metal piece uh, I stripped it painted it black again glued on a new piece of foam and installed the window whiskers I've got three rivets holding holding it in place they're well below the the height of the whiskers so they won't rub on the glass and just goes in like so find my screws though. Okay, five screws. Hold this guy on. Now one of them hides behind the top end of the foam. Uh, so you gotta kind of pull the foam back a little bit. Uh, 
Okay. I would say that's in. Do a test run. Thanks for watching.